Good morning and welcome. My name is Sussex Sandra and welcome to my channel. So this morning I would like to do a application and first impression of a product that I recommended for as many of you as possible to grab hold of and that was a product from QVC UK and it was a today special value from Laura Geller. Now it was a six piece collection that included a foundation, it included a blush, highlighter, lip gloss etc. So the product aired on, I cannot remember if it was Friday night, Saturday night or Sunday night. All I remember is about 10 o'clock, I must have been home and I suddenly remembered, oh my God, this TSV is on. So I clicked on it and then I thought, you know what, just in case anybody else is interested, let me just post on Instagram as well. So I posted on Instagram and the things with TSVs, these Today Special Values, they only last 24 hours. Now, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, TSV, Cuba, QVC, let me go back a bit, QVC is a shopping channel and it's one that I'm afraid I'm a little bit addicted to. I do buy a lot of makeup products from there. What I like about QVC is that you can buy the products and then you have 30 days to try the product out, see if it works for you and if you don't like it you can send it back and you don't get that opportunity with most of the makeup products we buy in the UK. Once you've used it that's it, it's yours. You normally have to return the product unopened, untouched to get your refund. So with QVC you do get a refund but you don't get your postage and packaging back so you're, you're practically paying for your postage and packaging twice so you're paying for it to be sent to you and then you have to send pay for it again to be returned so forget all that the most important thing is the product so mine came yesterday morning and this is it so it's a six piece collection they're calling it the Laura Geller the total package six piece full size collection and it looks like that I hope you can see this okay it's actually a very dark and gloomy morning sort of windy and rainy outside so I've had to put my ring light on and I have to admit I'm not quite satisfied with the lighting I'm getting at the moment I wonder I've just turned the room light on as well. The lighting still isn't brilliant, but it's, I apologize. I had to work with what I've got. This is the problem with me filming. I haven't got all the studio lights that some of these big YouTubers have got. I've got to work with the lighting I have in my house. So I'll either film in my study or I'll film in my bedroom, depending on where the lighting is. And I do prefer to film in daylight rather than this artificial light. So I can see that you can see the reflection of my ring light in the background. There you go. So what I intend on doing today is just applying the products from this. So I'm going to try and do as much as possible a full Laura Geller look this morning. So the first thing I need to do, oh, let me give you a bit of background about the product first. I'm just looking at the invoice. So on the day, the today's special value for the whole collection, it was £39.96 and then it was £3.95 postage and packaging. So in total, the whole thing cost £43.91, which is not bad for all of those products. The, the range is still available on QVC, but a lot of the colours aren't available anymore but the price now is £59 so it's literally sort of like £20 more than it was and still the £3.95 postage and packaging. The shades that are available now are deep, fair, light, medium, sand and tan. The shades that aren't available are golden medium, uh, porcelain and toffee which is a shade that I have purchased. Now I normally, when I've bought Balance and Brighton before, because that's the name of the foundation, when I've purchased Balance and Brighton before, the only deep shade they had available was deep. So they had deep, then they had tan, and then they had the three or four different shades for, for white skins. So they've broadened out the shades a little bit. So now they've got sand and tan for sort of medium tones, sort of olive tones, and then they've got deep and toffee for deep skin tones. So it's a little bit better. So I'm, I'm interested to see if the toffee will be a better, richer color for me. So the first thing I'm going to do now is um, put on some, I don't normally put on concealer basically because um, the foundations are where tend to be medium to full coverage. With the Laura Geller powder foundation, it is buildable, but it doesn't quite give full coverage. So I am going to put on a primer, then I'm going to put on a concealer, and then I'll put on the foundation. So the primer I'm going to use today is actually from Laura Geller. So it's a speckle and it's a mattifying. 
I don't know if this product is still available in the UK. Um, you can search around online, see if it's available. But it's called the Oil Control Under Makeup Primer. So I'm going to put that on first. So I'm going to put this on all over. And then I'm going to put the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Primer on in my key areas. So with the primers from Laura Geller, there are many different types. I mean, I have got a few here, which I've got from different collections that I have purchased. So if I show you the ones I've got here, I've got a Spackle Hydrating, so it's a moisturizing one. So I've got that. Um, this is the first one they ever purchased. So it's the under makeup primer. I really should throw that away. Um, they've got this tinted under makeup one, which I've never used. Again, it came in a collection. Right, so I'm just going to put a little bit of my Becca one on in my key areas. Um, I'm going to use the Revolution Beauty Concealer today because that's the first one I could get my hands on in the shade C15 just to um, conceal some of the hyperpigmentation I've got on my skin, which is quite a bit. Then I'm going to put on a hydrating cream on my eyes because my eyes are rather dry and I'm putting on a powder foundation. So I just want to make sure I've got some hydration in those areas. This hydrating cream, by the way, is from Bobbi Brown. Okay, so that's the base sorted out. Let's have a look and see what the products are. So this is what the collection looks like inside. Now, these products aren't easy to get out. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the shade Toffee. That's what it looks like. It doesn't look that much deeper than the original deep. But then saying that though, in recent years, because I understand that Laura Geller got taken over by another company, I'm not sure which company got taken over, but once they got taken over, the formula of the Ballets and Brighton did change a little bit. And I noticed that in the last deep that I purchased, there was more of the lighter corrective colors in there. So the original deep, which the first time I bought the Laura Geller, it did look like this, but then they started putting, as I'm saying, more of these lighter colors in there so let's see how this looks on my skin now <coughs> um, when applying these products on um, you can use a buffing brush so something like the real techniques expert face buffing brush um, today I'm just going to use my Morphe E31 and just apply that on and see how it goes so it's a very powdery product, but it's, it's a powdery creamy product. So you do get all the dust and stuff flying out. So do be careful, especially like I am now wearing white clothing, which is not very smart, but hey ho. So I'm just gonna do one side of my face and see how it looks. So this is the half of my face that's done. Looks all right, doesn't it? It looks okay. If you look at that side compared to that side, it just looks smoother and just looks complete. So it actually looks all right. So I'm quite pleased with that. So I'll just finish doing the rest of the base. Okay, so that's the base done. It actually looks all right. That looks fine to me. Okay, let me bring you in a bit closer so you can see. Yeah, so you can see that actually looks all right, doesn't it? Got my hair. I need some gel but yeah I think that looks okay cool right I'm just gonna do my eyebrows quickly and then I'll come back and do the rest of my face very simple eye look using the Colourpop uh, Shayla collaboration called perception so I just use that now in also in the kit was a liquid eyeliner let me see if I can struggle to take this out now liquid eyeliner looks like that I don't know what color this is supposed to be I just assumed it would be black but going by the coloring of the casing it might not be so I'm a little bit nervous here so it's described as Laura Geller Kajal Longwear Eyeliner in Twilight what color is this right so ooh, okay is this an eyeliner or an eyeshadow okay 
I obviously didn't pay much attention to the program when they were doing it. So let's put this on and see what this is. Okay, so it can be used as an eyeliner. It's like a dark grey colour. Which is okay actually, it does show up on our skin tone. This is actually interesting, one of my subscribers was actually um, questioning why all the beauty boxes always have black eyeliners in them. And she was basically saying that, you know, there are other neutral colours out there like brown and grey and I think she said brown and grey. So I sort of replied and said, no, I understand her point. Black is very boring and we do get a lot of eyeliners in our beauty boxes. But saying that though, black and um, black tends to match everybody, all skin tones, all shades. But brown won't. So for example, brown won't show up on my skin tone. So that would be my, anybody in my colour group will be excluded. Grey might not necessarily go with everybody either. So that's probably why they stick to black because it's a fairly safe bet and it won't exclude anybody. But occasionally you do see some more unusual colours in beauty boxes. You might see a purple. I've seen purple, I've seen navy and I have seen brown as well. And when I have received brown, I've had to give them away or not use them because it doesn't show up but okay anyway, it's a very dark grey but it's actually okay it works well if I knew that it was grey I probably would have used different colours as my eyeshadow but that's fine I'm, I'm okay with it it looks good and I think it's a colour that will suit all skin tones as well so it will show up on all skin tones definitely so how you use it is up to you but I think this will suit from the very fairest to the very deepest of skin tones so that's actually not a bad colour very soft as well and creamy so it's actually all right it's good it's good right there was no mascara in the kit but I have got a mascara from a previous Laura Geller beauty collection and it's the Glam Lash Mascara so I, think I got that in the last beauty box and I really like this mascara anyway so more than happy to put that on now so let's put that on okay I managed to do a little bit of clumping up there but that's fine I'm quite happy with the eyes it looks fine for a good work day look it's a nice everyday look I'm more than happy with that now I'm just going to do a little bit of contouring because I haven't done that yet before I put the blush on which is part of the kit so I'll be back with Bait Highlighter Sunset Glow and we've also got this French um, Vanilla Bait Highlight and obviously we've got the lipstick now when it comes to highlighters the one I've always loved is this one from Laura Geller which is the Gilded Honey so this is like the one we got in our what was the box we had the other day this is like the one we had in our look fantastic boxes the other day so you can see my one there is very well used so I'll keep this one in reserve just in case the this one which is in the collection doesn't suit me the other highlighter I've got from Laura Geller is this one diamond dust highlighter this is such a gorgeous color so it looks white but when you put it on it's like a pinky red highlighter it is dazzling it's definitely a party one full glam one absolutely love this one but it is definitely for special occasions so let's try the blush first if I can get it out the blush is called pink buttercream so it's baked blush and brighten pink buttercream I must admit this color is making me a little bit nervous because I wonder if it's going to be a bit ashy on my skin tone but I'm gonna give it a go so let's try this out so here it is Okay, it's actually very pale on my skin tone, almost bordering on ashy. So I might have to deepen this up a little bit. I mean, the color's nice. It's a nice pink color, but I'm not that confident about this. It does look bordering ashy on my skin tone. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not sure about that at all. 
so that was the color cream yeah not sure about that color on my skin tone i have got um a couple of other laura geller blushes that do work on my skin tone here so i've got these two compare it to actually i've got three so i've got three blushes here from laura geller so i've got this one here which is called brighton berry this one here is called pink grapefruit and this one here which is called cherry custard all three of these colors work pretty well on my skin tone um, this one is just a little bit too light so I'm gonna use one of these ones so I'm gonna use Brighton Berry just to deepen up this color give it a little bit more punch Brighton Berry looks like That's a bit better okay that's better right also in the kit is this highlighter so I'm gonna give that a go but I'm wondering how that's going to look on my skin tone considering that initial one was so pale but I have got my gilded honey there as a backup I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on because I'm a bit nervous. And, and I think the blushes are really looking, just a, they look a bit weird on my skin tone. They just look a little bit pale and ashy. So I might have to just correct my blush a little bit. But let's just try this highlighter first and see what this looks like. Okay, the highlighter is fine. So the highlighter is actually fine. I just need to work on the blush because that has made me very nervous. Now let's see if I can just cover up my face a little bit. So I'm just correcting my face a little bit with a bit of the balance and brighten to take away some of that, that ashy paleness from the blush. So that blush is a definite no-no for me, I think. Okay, so that's that. Oh gosh, yeah, the blush hasn't helped at all. It really hasn't helped, but we'll persevere, we'll carry on. So let's see if this lip luster will rescue the collection a little bit. So this colour is called Rose Tourmaline. I'm going to put it on with a lip liner in a dark brown colour. And this is from Revolution Beauty and it's in the shade Glory. So it's like a dark brown colour. So I'm going to use that to line my lips and then I'm going to put the, the lip luster on. So this is the wand, it's a nice wand. Oh wow, this is a gorgeous colour, it's very glitzy and glam. Very glitzy. Okay, you know what, it, it can make up for the blush here. And the wand, it bends as you apply it, so it's not stiff. okay i like the color i i really like this so this is very nice okay what am i thinking about this kit so what are my final thoughts about this kit so the balance and brighten in the shade toffee really happy with that love it perfect match for my skin tone very corrective gave me a nice medium to full coverage get something you can build up more than happy with that that's great the blush is a no-no it is it is too pale and I am concerned because I'm looking at it through the camera viewfinder now and I can still see that paleness underneath it so I'm a bit worried about that when I put my setting spray on afterwards I'm hoping that it will settle down the look a little bit so yeah this blush for my skin tone I think is a no-no it's not great the highlighter is actually very nice it gives a very goldy pink kind of color if that makes sense so that I like the highlighter the highlighter is good um, I didn't use the the highlighter French vanilla today because I have got one here already and I don't use that one so I'm probably going to take this out of this collection and put it in one of my future giveaway boxes the eyeliner I like so that is good and this lip color I absolutely love so the two standouts for me is the lip and the balance and brighten in toffee um, the highlighter I like so that's good but the 
this and the blush are no-nos. Am I going to keep this kit? If one, two, three, four of the products I'm happy with out of the six, I'm going to keep the collection because at the end of the day it was, it was 40, what, 43 pounds. So it's still worth it. So I'm more than happy with that because I think to buy a decent lip gloss and a decent foundation, that will cost me 40 pounds straight away. So I'm more than happy with that. So I'm going to keep this collection. If you did buy this collection, let me know what you think about it. I mean, how, what do you think about this look I've, I've created today with the collection? You saw what happened with the blush. What did you think about that? Um, I didn't use the French vanilla because I know I haven't, I haven't been able to use it in the past. So it's not something that I like, but I will all be putting that in a future giveaway. But let me know what you think about this collection. Do you like Mucho Gusto or not? let me know all right thank you very much for watching um, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to give me a like and if whilst you're down there if you haven't subscribed already what are you waiting for please if you haven't done so already don't forget to press that subscribe button and whilst you're down there you might as well press the little bell next to it the notification bell because then that will let you know when i upload my future videos all right take care thank you very much for watching bye